Simon from simonwoods.com. I've already poured the wine out. I normally do that on camera, but it, it is this one. Uh, it's El Pajaro Rocco. Uh, I pres I'm hoping that's the right pronunciation. Uh, from the Bieza region uh, in um, in northwest Spain. So it's not quite in Galicia. There's um, there's Galicia, and then there's this uh, uh, like like there's a mountain pass, and you go through, and uh, that's where Bieza is. So it's in the Castilla y Leon region, uh, but you do get a little bit of Atlantic breeze and uh, uh, coolness coming through. And the grape uh, Mencia or um, uh, Jaén, as it is in Portugal, it's, it's a funny one. It reminds me of um, almost like Cabernet Franc meets Syrah. And as with, with, with you, know, you think about those two grapes, there are some Cabernet Francs that, that are sort of quite leafy, and there are some Cabernet Francs that are quite bold and tar like. Uh, and you think about Syrah. Uh, there's the light, fragrant, Crozet Hermitage style of Syrah, and there's the big, beefy, um, traditional Barossa style. What have we got here? Let's have a see. We've certainly got lots of fruit. I mean, it's um, a black currant, a little bit of tar, uh, and there's a fragrant edge here. Um, Syrah is a grape that can be prone to reduction. That slightly rubbery character that uh, uh, some wines pick up uh, in the absence of oxygen. And I get a little bit of that character in this Mencia grape coming through here. Um, I don't know what it says on here, whether it's had lots of um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, um, yeah, new oak. American and French uh, doesn't say for how long. It, it feels almost like it's not. It's had it's had a short time in there uh, to, and it's picked up a little bit of um, toastiness on the way, but um, doesn't feel like it's, it's going to have excessive oakiness. But uh, you almost think, what would it be even like if they racked it a little bit more? Hey Simon, I haven't tasted it yet. I bet I could put it in my mouth. It's a really Portuguese feel to that. Probably offended a lot of Spaniards in the process there. Um, but there is this. Um, Texture-wise, there's a, a slight savoury, salty character, um, and there is a little bit of Britannomyces in there, which is adding a meaty, gamey, animal quality to it. But I think because the fruit is so rich and bold, it can cope with that at uh, this young stage. So you're getting these uh, uh, big, bouncy, berry and plum, um, virgin on the damson uh, character um, that's uh, dampened down by this um, savoury Portuguese, almost like a saline element uh, uh, going on in the wine. Um, my wife said to me, uh, let's try something tonight that's uh, on, the, on the light and fresh side in, in terms of red wine. So um, I was wondering whether this was going to be uh, the one that, that, that it, it would, would satisfy her, her desires. But um, it, is a, it is quite a rich, bold wine. But what's good about it is, yes, there's bold flavours, but there's freshness coming through on the finish. Uh, I do like that, and I like its, I like its savoury, intense complexity. And um, so um, maybe, maybe we'll have it, maybe we won't. Maybe I'll see if we can find something else. But um, if we have it, uh, I might end up having to drink more of it than she does. Shoot. Hey, see you soon. <laughs>